Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we will walk you through the installation and usage of Additailer. It is an automatic 1111 web UI extension that automatically analyzes the image, targeting mostly the face and the hand, similar to SDVAE. However, sometimes SDVAE isn't enough to fix the bad image, especially in low resolutions like 512 by 512. Unlike in the normal process, if we encounter a bad limb or face, we have to send our image for in-painting to correct it. This requires us to generate the image again, making it time-consuming. Now, with Additailer enabled, it will analyze the image and automatically correct any bad parts. Additailer is not 100% perfect, but most of the time, it works. Okay, enough talking, and let's start. But before we dive in, if you're new to this channel, Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now let's proceed. First, let's visit the GitHub website to download the file. I have put the link in the description section below. On the GitHub website, go and click the code section. Over here, click on the small copy icon to copy the URL. In Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 Web UI, Go to Extensions and look for the Install from URL tab. Paste the URL over here. Then hit Install. Wait for a while for the extension to install. You will see the message here that it is already installed. Now, go to the Installed tab and hit Apply and restart the UI. Now you should see the Additailer extension added to the interface. It looks like this. Let's now explore the incredible capabilities of the Additailer extension. Take a look at my sample image here, which is 512 by 512 in size. As you can see, the details of the face and hand appear to be quite distorted and unsatisfactory. But fret not as we are about to witness the magic of Additailer in action. Just head over to the PNG Info tab, and let's easily drag and drop our image into this section. Right here, we will have a complete view of all the details present in our image. This image was generated using Level 4 and the Absolute Reality model. However, please bear in mind that currently, the only available model here is level 4. As a result, we might observe some discrepancies in the generated image. Click on this button Send to Text to the Image. Now, all the details and settings of the image will be configured in the Text to Image section. In the SDVAE section, let's set it to None, so that we can witness how Additailer performs without the assistance of SDVAE. Click on this small box to enable it. In the drop-down menu, let's choose Face YOLO V8N. YOLO stands for, you only look once, and this selection will enhance the performance of face detection and analysis. OK, let's generate an image. Now, as you will notice during the initial stages of processing, when it reaches 100%, it will start refining the face, enhancing its features in a step-by-step -step manner. Let's check out our first image. Great! Notice how well the face details have turned out, especially considering the low image size. The output is quite impressive. Let's now compare this generated image to our original image.
Fantastic. Ada Taylor has really done a good job in enhancing the image quality. Now, let's generate another image with the same settings we used earlier, but this time, let's disable Ada Taylor. We do this to verify if Ada Taylor truly made a significant difference. As mentioned before, we are using a level 4 model exclusively for this comparison. By the way guys, I need to mention that I had to cut some portions of the video while generating the image due to NSFW, not safe for work, content. It's essential to maintain a safe and appropriate environment for all viewers. It will also speed up our tutorial. Now, let's take a look at our image without Ada Taylor. As you can see, the face appears to be distorted and less refined compared to the image we generated with Ada Taylor's assistance. This clearly demonstrates the significant impact and effectiveness of Ada Taylor in improving the image quality. Let's take a closer look once again at our two generated images and compare them side by side. You will notice a significant difference between the two images. The one generated with Ada Taylor clearly stands out with its improved details, whereas the image without Ada Taylor appears noticeably less refined and lacks the enhancements we achieved earlier. Now, let's proceed to our next example. First, I'll clear the current settings. Let's head back to the PNG info section and load up our second image sample for further experimentation. We will generate another set of images since the specific model we intend to use is not available in our checkpoint models. For this case, let's stick with the current model, the level 4 model, and proceed with the image generation process. For the second example, Let's start by disabling the Ada Taylor. As you have observed, without Ada Taylor, the face lacks intricate details and appears to be somewhat distorted. Let's proceed with another image generation, but this time, we will use both Ada Taylor models available in the first and second tabs. By doing so, we aim to analyze and enhance both the hand and the face simultaneously. However, I must mention that for the hand, we might not always achieve perfect results. Now, in the first tab, let's set it to hand YOLO V8N and for the second tab let's set it to face YOLO V8N. Don't forget to enable Ada Taylor before proceeding. Now, let's check the settings once more and generate the image. Just like the previous image generation, when the first process reaches 100%, it will start analyzing based on the model set in the first tab. This allows Ada Taylor to apply its enhancements and refinements accordingly. Now, it will automatically switch to the second tab to further refine the face in the image. This two-step process allows Ada Taylor to comprehensively enhance both the hand and the face, resulting in an improved and more detailed final image. Look at this guys. See how Ada Taylor effectively corrects both the face and the hand in the image. Let's take a closer look and compare our images side by side to truly appreciate the remarkable improvements brought about by Ada Taylor. 
Take a look at the difference guys. Although the hand may not be as refined as we hoped, the overall result is still quite impressive. As I mentioned earlier, Ada Taylor may not always yield perfect results when it comes to the hand, but it certainly excels in enhancing the face and other aspects of the image. Now, let's move on to the fun part by adding the prompt to our image. This process works similarly to in painting but is done simultaneously while generating the image. By including the prompt, we can creatively influence the content and style of the image, resulting in exciting and unique outputs. In the PNG Info section, let's load up our image. For this step, we will use this distorted face and fix it by adding a new face through the prompt. This way, we can witness the magic of Tailor in correcting and enhancing specific elements in the image, giving us a fresh and improved result. Let's set the second tab to None. As you may have noticed, we have two face models available here, Face YOLO V8S and Face YOLO V8N. The YOLO 8S model produces more detailed results compared to YOLO 8N. However, it is slightly slower due to the higher level of intricacy in its output. Now, in the prompt section, I'll try adding the face of my favorite actress, Natalie Portman. This way, we can creatively incorporate her features into the image and witness the final result with the touch of personalization. Let's see how it turns out. Enable the Add a Tailor. Now let's generate. Now, Ada Taylor has begun the process of analyzing and refining the face in the image. With the prompt of Natalie Portman's face, it will intelligently blend and enhance the features to create a unique and captivating output. Let's wait and see how it progresses. Let's see the result of our image with Natalie Portman's face added through the prompt. With Ada Taylor's assistance, the image should now showcase a fascinating blend of features providing a delightful and customized final output. Let's take a look. Wow! That's amazing! Ada Taylor has done a fantastic job of seamlessly incorporating Natalie Portman's beautiful face into the image. The result is truly remarkable showcasing the power of Ada Taylor in producing captivating and realistic images. It's truly an impressive feat. Okay guys, I'll leave the other models and options here for you all to experiment with. Meanwhile, I've generated a few sample images using Personiolo 8 to show how Ada Taylor works in correcting and enhancing other parts of the body. Ada Taylor beyond just the face and hand. That's all for now guys, I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, and you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll be back with more exciting content in my next video. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day ahead.